Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Now that the new year has begun, we have begun doing a lot of spring cleaning and organization. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I organized one zone of my kitchen and took it from disaster to fantastic. Now this is all of the um, pots and pans that came out of this cabinet. I tried to have some type of system in there, but Mr. B just could not get it right. And so I figured there had to be a better way. So, and this is another cabinet that I had and I had all of my Pyrex dishes on this side. And as you see, Mr. B just piled them up in there. And the last thing I want is for any of this stuff to get um, damaged. So I cleaned everything out of the cabinets and I have my vacuum here and I'm just going over it with my hand vac and then I'm wiping it down with some vinegar and water solution. Okay, now these are organizing pan organizers that I picked up from Marshalls. I picked up two of these and then I found some um, over the, the hook lid organizers. This came from Burlington, guys, and this was $6.99. So my entire organizational system cost me under $20. Now you can actually attach these and bolt these into your cabinets or you can just sit them down straight or you can stand them up. It just depended on whatever you wanted to do. And then I used the same system for this cabinet here that I shared with you. Now these are all of the pans and the crop pots. I'm getting rid of all of that stuff. Either they were broken or I just did not use them. The crop pot still works but it's not functional for me anymore. Now here's my area, as you see, and it consists of these two cabinets and then I have a smaller cabinet over to the side. And I'm going to show you what I did to that cabinet and what I used over there. So now, this is what the cabinet looks like now and it's so much better. I have all of my frying pans, they're in the, that pan holder, I just can slide them in. I'm using all of the space so much better now. And I have these lid holders here that simply hang over the back of my cabinet door and I can just slide the lids in, close the door. And as you see, I have my silver frying pans and they're stacked there so I can easily have access to them. I have a blender, um, the base of the blender at the bottom and then at the top I have the top part of the blender. I have all my George Foreman's, my rice cooker, my... Um, waffle maker and a strainer all that's to the top and before I had all of my Le Creuset and cast iron things up there but I'm gonna share with you what I actually did with those items and this is what the cabinet that looks so disorganized looks like now as you see I have all of my Purex pans and um, all stacked into this holder. I have these pan these dishes here that actually have a top on them and the tops are actually in the um, organizer here and um, I just put the glass top upside down. In the back I have some mixing bowls and up in the front I have all of my pie pans. This system is amazing guys and the fact that it only cost me six dollars is incredible a, 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 an entire organization system for your cabinets but under twenty dollars because I use three of these items now over here on the side is where I normally kept like bigger bulky pans but let me show you what I did here something really simple and I have all of Mr. B these are pans here that he used when he's out on the barbecue grill and so in all of his grilling grates and things like that that is all stacked here really neatly and I could not find a system that could fit this cabinet because it's so narrow and for what I needed to put in here but this worked perfectly and so these items were up underneath the cabinet and so I don't have um, that problem anymore he can just reach in there get what he needs and then go 
Now this is my storage that is underneath my stove, a, a place that I totally forgot about. But this is perfect because this is where I put all of my cast iron and cast aluminum pieces, my Le Creuset, my Loge um, cast iron pieces are all down here. And before they were in the cabinets and they were on the top shelf, but because they're so heavy, it really began to weigh down that shelf. And this is better, I can just reach down get the pieces that I want and after they're all cleaned up I can put them right back in here and they um, are safe and I don't have to worry about damaging my shelves so guys I hope you enjoyed this video as I shared with you how I organize this entire zone of my kitchen the cabinets at least for under $20 guys make sure you go buy um, Marshalls, Burlington's, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and look at their organizer items. Don't pass them up because you will be amazed at how functional they can make your space. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you are new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are, I have been missing my channel, I'm missing any of my videos, make sure that you're notification bell is still depressed and if it's not press that notification bell so that, so that you won't miss any of my uploads and guys as you i really appreciate i appreciate all of your love and support so guys I'm about to go but before i do you know what i always say the next time you're in town you can always stop by one house and i'll see you in the next video bye bye